Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see procurement in automobile industry. Normal, it's common for all the automobile industry and material planning, material requirement planning, they say. We are going to see how it has been implemented, how the procurement is being made in, in automobile industry, in the SAP. Let's go next slide. Body components. There are thousands of material in uh, uh, in automobile industry. Out of that, a common, normal common material I have taken. Okay. Body components. Let's see. Bonnet, bumper, front, bumper rear, fender, that is mudguard or wing, grill and ribs. These are the common, for, this is for common for all the cars across all the models. Now, let's go to the process. I want to create a material master in MM01. Create and then run, run MRP. So configuration will be in material requirement planning in material master itself. And I am going to run a MRP in MT01 transaction code. I'm going to create a purchase order, go to goods receipt. I'm going to do goods receipt and invoice information. Let's go directly to the SAP system. I'm going to create all these five materials. These five materials. These five metals I'm going to create. Bonnet. Let's go to MM0. Mechanical engineering and SPAS. SPAS. Spare parts. Okay. Now press enter. Internal number already assigned. Before that, what I do is I'm going to create a go to OMS2. I'm going to create a material type. ZRO. From here, I'm going to create spare parts. See here, spare parts already I have created. Spare parts has to tax it as already I have created. There is one spare parts is there. I'm going to use that. Okay, now go to MM0. Spare parts. See here, this is my spare parts. Press enter. Unselect this two. Organizational levels. LD03. LD03 is my storage. Room. Press enter. Okay. First material. I want to create. Bone at hood. Bone at hood. Each. Base unit of measure each. Material group. Body component. Let me select P01. Body component. B0, CL, body comp, B0. Press M. enter, enter, enter. Okay. Here, select B1, B1. Manual reorder point with external purchase requisition. Press M. Reorder point, 50. Press M. MRP controller, one who controls MRP. Select first one. Press enter. Lot size HP. Replenish to maximum stocking. Replenish to maximum stocking. It's 40. Press enter. Sorry, it is 70. Let me enter 70. It should be above this. Above this. So 70. Maximum stock level 70. So purchase position will be created for 70 meter. Enter. 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 Finally, 3000 is my valuation class. Six zero six zero seven eight six is my material. Let me copy this. Let me have this copy from material. I'm going to create another material. Let's select this two. Default settings, let me click on the default settings. Organization levels, LD03, 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 LD03. Storage location, plant and storage location, LD03. This time it's going to be bumper. Number is 60787. Front bumper. Everything same. 
everything let me have mrp configuration also same same mrp configuration also same next rear bumper let me do the same ld03 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 default settings click on the default setting press it this time rear bump same configuration same everything same i'm just copying it save Six zero seven double eight. Next fender wings or mudguard. Same everything same. Let me have the same attributes. MRP attributes. Six zero. Six zero seven eight. Next, same attributes. This time it's going to be grill. grill. Same attributes. Six zero. Seven nine zero rims. Now I'm going to again create rims. Rim. Rims. Same. So I have created nine one six zero seven nine. Now I'm going to. Execute MR MD0 MD0 present enter plant. My plant is LD0. LD0. My purchase requisition is I'm going to create purchase requisition across the plant present. Enter again, enter, enter. It's executing. See here. Purchase requisition created six. Six purchase requisition has been created. Now let me go to slash in MD04 to check the purchase requisition. 71, 791. This is my purchase requisition. 791, this is my purchase addition. 791, this is my PRS. This one. 90, let me go to 90. Let me 52. My PRS 52. 52. Okay. Now, this is my other material. Let me take this material. 89, 51, 51, 89, my PR is 51, 51, 7, double eight. Seven double eight. present down, 50, 50, 5, zero. Eight seven four nine four nine is my PR. This should be four eight four eight eight six eight six four eight. Okay, now let me create a purchase order based out of this purchase request. Okay, M B twenty one. 
tell me 21. Select my purchase acquisition. My purchase acquisition. Let me check this. No, this is not my purchase acquisition. Select purchase acquisition. Purchase acquisition. Delete this material and execute. Let me take it from here. See here. Sprawl down. One double zero not available. Let me go to slash in MD04 and let me check it. Now let's come back. Select purchase acquisition. Select the variant and purchase acquisition. Scroll down. Have plant alone, LD03 alone. Okay, execute. Let me execute this. Okay, scroll down to find out our purchase acquisition. These are all the purchase acquisition. One triple zero five three. Three five three. Three five three. Three five three. Select three five three to three four nine. Three four nine. Four eight. Three four. Eight. Up to this. Select. Select. Adapt. Select. Adapt. Select, 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 and adapt. Now, my vendor is one double zero one zero five. It's my vendor. If you want to know how to create the vendor, check the description. Description has been provided in the link has been provided in the description. Check the description. LD0 is my purchase organization, purchasing group. Enter the net price per, per unit. Price, net price. And let me save this. Save. This is my purchase order. Let me take this purchase order. Or do goods receipt. Purchase order is order confirmation with the vendor. Slash and MI chip. Goods receipt. Purchase order. Enter purchase order number here. That's it. Click on to non order item. Item OK. OK. Enter storage location. LD0. LD0. Scroller. LD03. Item. LD03. 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 And item OK. And post. Now I'm going to do invoice certification slash it. MIR. Invoice certification. Vendor will be providing us the invoice. I'm going to post it in the 
system. Calculate tax. Enter the purchase order number here. This is the balance. I have to enter it here. 428, 400. Press enter. Baseline date upon which we have to pay the vendor. Simulate at post. Simulate at post. Balance zero. So payable to the vendor. This is how we do material planning and this is how we purchase the material for the automobile industry. Thank you.